if your doctor uh, does send you for um, evaluation for potential um, genetic testing, you'll meet generally with a, a genetic counselor who will go over the pros and cons of testing. And I find genetic counselors are really well equipped to have that discussion. They'll also take a very detailed family history, go through your family tree, talk about which cancers other people in your family may have had, and then you can decide together which tests need to be run and if in fact you want to have genetic testing. If you decide to go through with it, they will in general um, take a blood sample and that blood sample will then be sent off to look for um, a panel of genes that would increase your risk of melanoma. Um, once those results are returned, they'll bring you back in for a visit to go over the results. If there are any positive findings, they'll talk about what that means, what your risk uh, level is in a more detailed fashion, and importantly, what you can do about it. So um, what kind of surveillance you should have, what other kind of cancers you should be um, looking for, and maybe other specialists you should be seeing. If your tests all come back negative, they'll go over that. And they'll also talk about, again, what that means. It doesn't mean you're out of the woods. It doesn't mean your risk of getting a melanoma, again, is zero. Um, but it does mean that there maybe are certain other cancers that you don't need to be worried about. Um, so I think that having this team approach to genetic testing is really important. So in general, um, we can think about what happens if I have a positive test and what happens if I have a negative test. So a positive, a positive test would mean that there's a gene that has been identified that you carry that puts you at increased um, risk of melanoma. Um, so probably the two most common and probably helpful genes that we screen for are one called CDKN2A and BAP1. So CDKN2A is a gene that puts you at increased risk of having lots of atypical moles or nevi, and also of being diagnosed with melanoma. It also can, is associated with an increased risk of pancreatic cancer. So if you test positive for this gene, um, you would want to think about making sure that you protect your uh, skin from the sun. If you do have lots of atypical moles, your dermatologist may recommend that you have mole mapping or um, body, total body photography, so that you know what your moles look like at baseline, and it makes it easier to find a newer changing mole. And then you'll also want to talk about what should I be doing um, to think about my risk of pancreatic cancer and to improve early detection. If you tested positive for BAP1, this is a gene that would put you at higher risk of having um, melanoma, particularly melanoma in the eye. Um, and so you would, for example, want to see an ophthalmologist who specializes in ocular melanoma so that you can be screened for, um, for ocular melanoma as well as seeing a dermatologist to be screened for skin cancer. Um, it also, BAP1 uh, gene mutations would also put you at higher risk of having mesothelioma, which is a kind of uh, cancer that you can get around the lungs or in the abdomen. Um, this, for example, we know that being exposed to asbestos puts you at higher risk of developing mesothelioma. So that might influence things that you make about decisions you make, for example, about buying an older home or the kind of re renovations you may want to do in your home. So, you know, having knowing you carry a gene lets you um, make sure that you have active and regular surveillance. Um, we would, for example, suggest you see a dermatologist at an earlier age than if you don't have a genetic mutation. And it also lets you talk to your family about their potential risk and whether or not they might want to be um, screened genetically. A drawback of having a positive test is that it may make you more um, anxious. So you may worry more about your risk of cancer. And these are all things that a genetic counselor would talk to you about. Now, if you have a negative test, that seems like it's good news, your risk is lower. Um, however, I do tell my patients that 90% um, of people with melanoma 
don't have a gene mutation or at least one that we can screen for. So remember, if you've had two or three or four melanomas, we know you're at higher risk of having another melanoma. We know your risk is high, even if you have a negative genetic screen. So one, we don't know every gene that confers risk of developing melanoma. Um, therefore, we can't test for every gene. Um, the, um, it's important to, um, to realize that that negative test may mean I don't have to think about my risk of things like pancreatic cancer or mesothelioma, but it really still means you need to be careful with the risk factors you can control, things like sun exposure and um, tanning bed use and use of sunscreen and of course being screened regularly.